Hello everyone. I am back. You see me? I can't tell when I have my sunglasses on. For some reason I can't see in there. So I'm going to guess that most likely I am. But I wanted to show you. I'm here in Dayton. On Park Avenue. And the corner of Oakland. And I came to a T intersection and this is what I saw. Look at this way. I'm gonna take a drive down. Do you think it'll be okay? But look at this too. This is a beautiful neighborhood. Isn't that pretty? It's relaxing too, isn't it? Do you think there's any tadpoles or fishies of any kind that are in there? A frog? Think there's any frogs in there? Nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a drive down here, but I was when I was when I go for drives sometimes I will see side roads with neighborhoods or city blocks that look interesting to me. It's been a long time since I went for drives. I'll give you a quick peek at this house, for instance. I like these uh, classic houses. What what do you call them? Like we call different items antiques. We call different cars classic, right? A classic, an antique, a classic. What is the difference with the with the houses? Like, how old do they have to be to be considered similar to a classic? Would they be vintage? Yes. See that? There's a car coming. I gotta move. We're gonna get on the road. in this brick road and then I'll show you the house on my way back. Or do you want me to back way up? Do you want me to back way up there? Do you think I can do it without getting in trouble? Here we go. Do you want to watch out for me? This is a nice little neighborhood. Park Avenue, Dayton, Ohio. I was thinking to myself, whenever I go into a neighborhood like this, it reminds me when I was a kid and I used to deliver newspapers. The houses weren't like this, and that sucked. but so they were unique in comparison to the way modern day houses have become uh, a majority of them. But, when I was when I came down this road, I saw this house sitting on a hill, and I thought to myself, I love houses like that, but it would be because I'm a big window fanatic, so I like huge windows on the side of a house, but you have a nice view and stuff. But there's features within a modern day house, and what kind of house would this be? Is it a classic house? Will you help me out with that? I want to see if anybody's watching my videos. Look at this, it's gorgeous. I like, uh, you see those porches up there that's like on the second floor? Imagine that being at your bedroom. There's one in the front. There's one on the other side of the house. And I love those columns. I think they're really pretty. And the, the way that this house sits, here comes the vehicle. I don't know yet. Same time. But the way that this house sits, it's kind of on a hill. It really grabs my attention. Hold on. 
we're coming across the street. I was thinking this would look really nice at Christmas time, and it would probably be fun to go sledding in the snow, wouldn't it? And if you got too cold, you could just run into your house really quick and warm up. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the beautiful lawn. I don't normally like lawns on hills like that, but the way the house sits uh, is gorgeous. They have a beautiful one. This one over here reminded me of houses that I used to deliver newspapers to. some modern day appearance and definitely appliances and stuff would look amazing wouldn't it? especially if the scenery around Yeah, look at that. Let me back up quick. Park Avenue. It reminds me of Monopoly. Look at that. See the way the driveway? That's what it appears to be, a driveway that goes back through there. But I don't know if it's to that house or not. It's pretty far out. Isn't it? Do you like your house to be shaded? and kind of like hidden away from people's view? Or do you like it more on the hill? Do you like to decorate? If you did have a house, would you like to decorate? If you don't have a house in there? Oh, is it okay to drive down here? It is, it's my first time here, thank you. Yeah, she was very friendly, going for her morning walk. I hope I don't drop my phone. <laughs> wow! That's really cool. I haven't seen a brick road like this for a while. Isn't there one, or there was one at the Oregon District, but is it still there? Does anybody watch this video and look at this? It's a nice neighborhood, isn't it? See, that house has lots of windows in it. Are you a windows person or no? I love it. Look at this house. I used to love going driving around looking at houses, especially during the holidays. Isn't that pretty? With the columns the way they are? This one here for sale. That one's up on a hill. I don't think they would appreciate a neighbor who rock and rolls. <laughs> you think so? Whoops. Here we go. Look at the. doesn't drive away. You check this thing. Isn't this cool? The 
brick road. I mean, I love that. There's you like unique things like that. Look at the bridge. We're taking up the whole entire road. That's a nice house, isn't it? I like to see homes with creeks by them. See that? And I, I love to see little bridges and stuff that you can hang out on and it has a nice patio. It would be nice to have a little car like that, a little rag top, something small just for mobile driving. So you can, automatic of course, so that you can just drive around and look at, you know, scenery. Go places locally to the lake or something, down to the river, scenic drives. Do you like to go scenic driving? Yeah, long road down there. Friendship Park. It's Friendship Park. I have to remember that. All right. So, with that being said, I don't know how much longer this road is on. I have some food here that I need to get home. Is there some stuff that needs to stay cool? Oh, it does. Is it going on? We're going to go one more time, and if it goes too long, then I'm going to turn around and go back home. Four Avenue. Do you know how to say that? Four F-O-R-R-E-R. -R -R -E -R. This would be a nice place to go for a walk, too. This is the park. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give you one more glance at it unless I see something else. This is it. We're here at Elizabeth Garden. 124. Did you ever go deer spotting? Do you think there's any deer here? There's trails. Do you think there's any deer here? miss it a whole lot. I think it's nice to do things like that once in a while that I did as a child because it connects me to something that I used to really love a lot and I have learned most recently that it is a great blessing to witness either seeing something, one of your senses, meaning you can smell it, you can taste it, is it food? Uh, it's really nice. Even if you might not need to necessarily do it right now today, but you remember something that you did do in your life and you really loved it, it's nice to, when you witness it, like today for instance, um, when I was a kid growing up, my mom, I don't know if she got it before I was born or after, but my mom and my dad used to ride bicycle a lot especially like on, on our property and things, but there was also a squatty, so they would go for 
bike rides to go down by the Swati, the waterway, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a very small river. Um, it's a, a waterway that uh, runs quite a distance. And um, in our township there was one. So it's a place that we used to go to have a lot of fun. And my mom had a three-speed Schwinn that was like a sky blue. I call it sky blue. It's like a dark metallic uh, blue. And Schwinn was a bicycle. But they, they had a Schwinn shop and they custom built bicycles. So they made, they made a lot of bicycles even right there. Uh, that's something I always wanted to have done. I was going to have Schwinn do it years and years ago. But um, obviously things come about, that never did happen. But the reason that I like Schwinn so much is because it was my mom's bike and my mom had a three-speed that was a fem what, what they perceive a female's bike, which has a low riding bar that especially for those who wear dresses, don't want to lift your legs way up over a bar to do it, or for whatever reason you have, um, they label that more of a female bike. And I remember, because I used to love riding dirt bike, that I wondered why boys have to ride what, what they perceive, what the world perceives as boys. my dirt bike but I as a kid was having psychological evaluations and I was in wonder um, you know why do boys ride one bike why do the girls and because of certain reasonings why does a boy have a bar across rather than a girl why don't the boy have the ones that dip down like a you so I wondered about these things because I hurt myself a few times on a boy's bike, <laughs> and uh, obviously these thoughts go through your head. With that being said, I learned later on that what we perceive as a girl's bike, this is a psychological struggle for everyone, um, a lot of females ride boys' bikes for many different reasons that I don't want to get involved in right now, but I learned about this along the way.
ride a, a bicycle, whether it be boys or girls, and maybe because people view you as one way versus another, did it ever occur to you? Or did it ever happen with you that somebody would question you why you're riding a bike? How do you respond to something like that? When I was a kid, I said, uh, either in the lines of, so what, it's my mom's bike and I love my mom, um, that's why I'm riding it, because I had a dirt bike and I was said I was sick of riding my dirt bike all the time. I use that at more in the evening and I like to use my mom's bike for the road. I wanted a bicycle for the road and I wanted a bicycle because I like to ride through yards and stuff with my turn bike. And uh, so I wanted, I, I wanted you know, different bicycles for different occasions, for different reasonings, different purposes. One more for distance and the joy of riding on the street or a trail, like the, the trails they have here in Ohio is something unique to me because I don't, I don't ever remember witnessing or seeing trails like that as a kid growing up. The trails I used to ride on were either old railroad beds or they were dirt trails. Being out here in Ohio, they have the river trail um, and I love to ride by the river. So that's a lot of fun for me. I would not, even as a kid, want to ride the river trail on a dirt bike. I would rather ride it on, you know, either a mountain bike or a road bike it would be even more enjoyable because there's great distances that you can go with them. So, uh, with that being said, my mom's bike was the first Schwinn I remember seeing when my brother got a Schwinn. That was, a, that was almost the same color. So I don't know if Schwinn had like Chevy and Chrysler have their their colors of red, like they do, I guess, like part numbers or whatever. I think Schwinn had its own kind of shade of blue. If I'm not mistaken, they might have made, mixed it themselves or had it made for themselves. But um, it was a really beautiful color. It was a calming color, and I love the sky. And if I'm not mistaken, I would have to say.
because I went to my street to the vision. forward to it. I wanted to take a drive through Indiana at some point while I live in Dayton because I might move someday. Uh, and also uh, I would like to go for a drive in Kentucky because I live on what I would perceive more of the 
western